We're here with the 126 final. Jack Bastarica from Mount Olive, 24 and four, a senior, facing Jack Myers, a junior, 23 and one from Morristown. The top two seeds in this tournament, and these two guys are gonna go at it hard. Bastarica got here by a pin, 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 and Myers got here by a pin, forfeit, and major decision so two wrestlers who i'm sure are going to see each other you know ongoing before and i also want to give a, a little bit of a shout out to uh, trevor jones um i grew up pretty much with with his dad and his uncle uh, his uncle lives a, a street over trev's a great wrestler he's a freshman he finished third um major the Hanover park kid uh 14 to 5 um and myers did major him 13 to 3 uh, I think he's going to be really good. He wrestled Bastrika to a decision the other day, um, or the other week rather, and he got taken down with about 20 seconds left in the match. So he's right there with Bastrika, and I think this Myers Bastrika match is also going to be one of the top matches that we watched today. Very much so. I mean, these are two guys, you know, these are one of those guys I, I do my predictions and I posted yesterday. These were, and this is no disrespect to anybody in that weight class, this was the my lock one of my lock finals that I, I, I thought for sure um we talked a little bit about it there were some other guys who as we get a uh still may get a restart here there were some other guys who i thought might be able to place um you know make third fourth how it went but these were the two guys i thought um if they didn't wrestle uh hard, you know bad or make a dumb mistake would be in the finals and it, it pulls out no and actually you and i were talking about that last night when we were talking going down the weight classes and i said I'm like, yeah, absolutely, there's going to be a myers Bastrika uh, final. But you and I both thought Trevor Jones was going to finish third, too. And he did. He did. You know, and Like I said, he's talented. He finished second in the, the uh, Super 32s um, and did really well at the Beast. He didn't place but won a number of matches there. So you're going to see Trevor, no Trevor Jones' name definitely coming up more and more in the next three and a half years. Pompton Lakes guy. Yeah, he's a Pompton Lakes guy. So his dad was, uh, was the captain of the wrestling team. Uh, senior captain, and then his brother uh, Justin was a big time baseball player, wrestled too. And uh, Justin actually coaches football and used to coach, his dad used to coach wrestling actually at Pompton Lakes. He was an assistant coach for a while, as well as uh, his uncle Justin. So, shout out to my Pompton Lakes guys. <laughs> Pompton Lakes is truly accepted, Garden State HS Wrestling, what we've done. I mean, they're one of the schools that love us. And it has to be. You have Brad Soltis as another commentator. You got Ricky DeBonta up here as an assistant coach. Jason Luciani as a head coach. Myself, we're all, <clears throat> we're all Pompton Lakes guys, so we're, we're kind of inundating uh, Morris County a little bit. Is that the right word? Inundating? Uh, I don't know. Infiltrating. Infiltrating. That would go. probably be the Inundating, better word. I think, is something else. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's my I vocabulary, so. Nobody called me from the state <laughs> with a missed word. Don't worry, that one you, you can call me. <laughs> I called this when we, when we did it, too, and I'll, I'll see if it bears out. I thought this would be an overtime match, just, just from the talent these guys have. I don't think anybody's going to make a real mistake unless there's something that they get caught with. So, for example, with Bastarica getting out there, if Myers goes for something and Bastarica is able to take him down again, it has to be aggressive, yep. you know, along those lines. No, and it's smart, and I really should have went over that. It was a 0-0 zero -zero match going into the second period, typically – because the advantage in the ultimate tiebreaker. So if it comes down to that last tiebreaker, whoever scored first gets choice. Yes. And so that's the reason why you'd want to get the coin flip and choose down. Um, you're right. It could. This, these are two highly qualified kids, or two highly quality kids. Sorry, it's been a long day. And um, <laughs> that definitely could go into overtime. Yeah, you were here very early. I, since I'm uh, only doing this, I decided to come a little later. <laughs> you know, we had, Seating meeting Thursday night, which it didn't run super late, but you get home late. And, and it's, it's tough early for you because you're I'm far away. At, you know. Yeah, I'm up at 5 in the morning, and then you know, you're back to work, leaving at 1 o'clock, coming up here. Long day yesterday, and then back here, you know, whatever. I don't want to be a complainer. No, no, like, it's, no. this is one of those long – and you know what? 
a lot of people don't understand. They see, you know, just, oh, you're just here, you're wrestling. They don't understand the, the, the time that goes into it, not only for these wrestlers, but the parents and the families and just how much, you know, everybody sees, oh, you're out there wrestling, but they don't understand the, the downtime and the weight and, you know, you're dealing with different kids at different weights and especially when it gets longer in the season. Those are some long days. No, yeah, and it, there's a lot of emotional roller coasters that go into tournaments like this or even dual meets. It's prepping, it's planning, and, you know, you think you're just coaching, but it's exhausting when that happens. So, you know, yesterday you're coaching all your kids all day from 4 o'clock to almost 8 o'clock. Not 8 o'clock at night. No, almost 8 o'clock at night last night. So it's a long day. It's a lot of coaching. You're not coming off the mat. And, again, your adrenaline's pumping, and it's it's a roller coaster, emotional roller coaster. Yeah, because, so. you know, listen, I know a lot of people understand with what they're doing. Um, the coaches are just as involved. You know, like, it, it, it's, a, it's a roller coaster for you guys, too. You know? Yeah, no, absolutely. It's, it's and then if you deal with an injury or things where you're trying to, you know, get your kids mentally over certain positions and things like that, it's, it's tough. That was interesting at the end because we'll see if that comes back because it was a scramble at the end and nobody had real control. We'll see if that changes how people approach because now Myers is going to go down. He's obviously going to attempt to get out, and then you're, you're talking about a 1-1 matchup here. And realistically, from what I've seen, they're both trying to work, but nobody's going to take a bad shot if it goes to overtime. So this could be one of those matches that goes, you know, to a tiebreaker situation. Now, and somehow, like, I'm not Notre Dame, but I got a feeling Meyer's going to get out like he just did now. I got a feeling he's going to get a takedown. And, I mean, Bastarica is super talented. So there was a stalemate called in that front head position. Masterica trying to change levels there. See if he can catch uh, Myers on, on his heels. And, and just to give you an idea how good Bastarica is, I mean, he was a Region 6 place, place winner his freshman year. Um, then he, was, he placed sixth in the state his sophomore year. And last year he was, he was state wrestle back round three. So he's got a lot of criteria. He's a state, you know, and that was during the COVID year, but that takes nothing away from it. I, I actually watched him that year, placed sixth. Um, again, excellent wrestler. And you're looking at a, a Myers who's super tough, who I believe is just a sophomore Myers, right? Uh, yeah, Myers is Myers is young. I think he may – no, Myers is a junior. Myers is a but junior. But Myers is one of those kids – you always hear, and we, we said it about Mount Olive before, we said about all you heard about for the last couple of years, even pre-COVID, was Myers is coming. Myers is coming. So that's the one you kind of see and you go, okay, you know, you, you want to see if they can deliver. And so far, I mean – He's done, you know, done a great job in, in his first two years getting down, you know, getting down the states. I know he made it both years. Yeah, he was state wrestle back round two his freshman year, and then last year state wrestle back round three, which is as far as Costa Rica went as well. So, and I if mean, I remember correctly, if I remember correctly about last year, I think he um, he might have injured himself down in AC. I'm not. I don't want to pull it, you know, crazy, but. No, but I mean, Jack's obviously having a, a solid year. He's twenty, you know, he's twenty and one. Um, you know, and his only loss really came from a kid from Blair Academy and Matthew Lopes. And it, it was a two-one decision. So here we go. This is our first overtime match. It's a one-one match. Um, in overtime, it's a minute on their feet. First to score or first to get the takedown will win the match. If it's tied after this point, it's going to go into two thirty-second um, top-bottom positions, and that'll go off a coin flip, but. Before I get to that, let's see if we get a takedown here. Bastarica is in great position, but they're scrambling. Myers, Myers is just readjusted. coming over top. He's, yeah, he has readjusted. I still think right now Bastarica, he, he has the advantage. I think they might stop this here because Bastarica doesn't seem to be. I, exactly. Whoa. Bastarica didn't seem like he was trying to move there. He kind of sat there for a second or two and gave him a chance. And you got to be able to make sure that, that you finish that pretty quick. So. So 30 seconds left in this uh, first overtime. Like I said, if this nobody scores, it's going to go into two 30-second overtimes. There will be a coin flip. You can choose either top or bottom or defer it. Um, and then, again, if you defer, the other opponent will choose or you choose that top-bottom position. Then uh, in the next 30 seconds, the next, the next person will choose top or bottom. If it's tied at the end of that, it goes into what we call the ultimate tiebreaker which is whoever scores first chooses the top or bottom position. If you choose bottom and get out, you win the match. If you ride out, 
from the top position for 30 seconds, then you win. Now, if I'm if I'm Myers here, obviously Basta Rica, you know, one choice is going to take down. So immediately, so he didn't defer it. Because sometimes people defer it, try to wear their opponent down even just a little bit more in that 30-second period. I think he's, he's going to try to go for it. But at the same point, I think when you look at it, if I'm Myers, you got to try to get something here. Give up the one. That, the one's fine. You don't want to give up anything stupid. The difference is when you go down now, just looking how quick he got out of that, he's most likely going to choose down for the ultimate. Exactly. That's Myers has got to do something and go for a two. You know, he's got to go crazy. Because I think if it goes to where it's the ultimate, I don't think he'll be able to hold Bass Rica I, I agree. So right now, I kind of look at it like Bass Rica's holding all the cards, right? He's yeah. got the advantage. He doesn't have to do anything. He just got out. So here it is. He can try to ride out now and win the match, or he let, basically he could almost let Myers go, you know, try to ride him a little bit, let him go, and then get to that ultimate tiebreaker, choose bottom, because you saw how easily he got out. Yeah, I think Myers has got to go right from the beginning, Go try to go for two, but I think he's going to go for the one. No, I agree. He, he's got to get out and try to take him down. Or get a reversal, but yeah. I think I, on somebody like Jack Bastarica, that's not going to be so easy. It's almost like you got to be a little, you, you got to almost throw a little funk in here, you know what I mean? You talked about changing how you wrestle. Maybe, you know, thrusting out, maybe they might not have seen from you before, you know? He's got 23 seconds left. He gets right to his feet pretty easy. He's got to kick his leg back because I'm telling you right now, he's not going to let go. He's going to hang on. There's no stall calls. They were yelling for locked hands. I didn't see it. And that's it. Bastarico's going to get the ride out. Uh, there's a technical violation. I don't know what it was. Are they going to call fleeing the mat? Uh, that just ended. That's pretty much going to end the match. There's four seconds left. I don't know what Jack Myers did to get that technical violation. Did you see what it was? I think he was down and he was on the mat and like where they were, it was going to settle. And he kind of scooted himself out of bounds and they called the technical for fleeing the mat. That's how I look at it. I might be wrong, but that's kind of how I thought it went down and everything we did. But I'd like to see a replay on that just to see what, what that looked like. Great job by Bass Rica. One of an exciting matchup. And, you know, one of those great matches we saw. So he won the title at 132, and now he gets the privilege of getting interviewed by James Clark. James, take it away. All righty, thank you guys. I'm here with Jack Bass Rica from Mount Olive. Won a, a uh, Morris County title here today in front of his home gym. Jack, congratulations to you, man. You beat a really good opponent of Jack Myers from Morristown. Talk about that. How does that make you feel to win a qu over a quality opponent like him? Uh, I feel amazing. Um, hard fault match like that is uh, can't get any better. Uh, I know. I know going into the match, it's, it's going to be close. Um, Jack's a very good wrestler. He knows what he's doing. Been wrestling for a while, so uh, just to get a win like that in the county finals. First county title feels great, and that's amazing. And first county title, you said that's impressive, man. Anytime you get to win here at Mount Olive High School for a Morris County title, it's always an incredible feeling. So that's awesome to hear, man. You guys are on a tear this year, like you have been the last several years. Um, you know, I know you lost some quality wrestlers last year, but I think you guys still look pretty solid from up and down the lineup. And do you guys feel like you have what it takes to go ahead and go down to the Group Four finals and repeat yet again? I mean, that's the goal. Back to back is all we got. On our minds right now. Um, we got some, we got some quality guys out right now, but uh, we're gonna get them back soon. We're gonna get back on track, and uh, we're gonna do some damage down, at, down in sections, down in hopefully groups, group finals too. And I think you guys are more than capable of doing so. I, I just love covering you guys. You guys are just awesome to cover, and I love covering you guys when you wrestled Wes Morris the other night in Warren Hill. So congratulations to you, Jack. Appreciate Good it. Good luck the rest of the season. Appreciate now it. back over to Don and C for the next match. Thanks a lot, James. Great interview with Bass Rica. I'm sure he's super excited about being the champion, especially in front of his home gym. So we're going to take a quick break, and here's a message from our sponsors. Follow us for all our other videos. Special thank you to all our sponsors who helped make these videos possible this week. Harrington Construction and Company, Harrington Services and Demolition, W.J. Harrington and Sons Contractors, Hoffman's Supply, Home and Garden Center, and locally, the 19th hole. Ginza, bar, restaurant, and sushi. Mount Olive, plumbing, heating, and air. Sports Clips of Flanders. The Market Tavern. Subpub, submarines, and sandwiches. The Marketplace. 
Wicklow and Loreno Landscaping, OMG Burger and Brew, and then the man I can't forget, Dan Warnikoff, Champion Athletes. Dan is the man if you want to get nutrition done right. Thank you for tuning in, and we hope to see you next time.